Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for part two of Professor Victor Singing Eagle's fabulous, world-famous lectures here at Sisseton Wapiton College English Composition One. And now, your host, Professor Victor Singing Eagle. Yay! <coughs> right. Last time we were talking, I was telling you that I've been teaching English composition for dang near 40 years, right? Yes. And I told you that I've been doing research on how to write a proper thesis statement. Did I not? Yes, I did. And I even gave you a good definition, which I devised all by my little lonesome self. And here it is. Thesis statement. A compact, meaningful, single sentence that contains all the elements of your paper. It contains the focus of your paper and tells the reader what your writing will be about. Got it? All right, here we go. Now, in our quest to de define a thesis statement, we have to understand what a thesis statement is not. Got it? I wonder if this microphone is working. We'll find out. It is not a question. Is Bill Clinton the worst president in American history? That is not a thesis statement. It is not an incomplete sentence. Daylight savings time. Good or bad. It is not multiple sentences. I don't care what the textbook says. I don't care what other English teachers say. You listen to me. It is not multiple sentences and it is not an announcement. This paper will discuss the benefits and drawbacks to artificial intelligence and self-driving vehicles. No, do not announce. Now, here are some things that actually make lousy thesis statements. Issues of religion. Don't go there, okay? Islam is better than Zoroaster. No, 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 no. We're not going there. Next, we don't mess around with issues of personal taste because you'll just argue, 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 argue till you're blue in the face. Beyonce is better than Taylor Swift. No, no, don't touch. I'm not touching that. We also don't mess with inarguable facts. Facts. Today... There was a total solar eclipse that went from Eagle Point, Texas, all the way up into Canada and stretched over and blah, blah, blah. Inarguable facts. No, we're not going to go there because it's not a real essay anyway. Now, in my quest as well to figure out a formula on how to write a good thesis statement, I did a whole lot of research, looked at all these books and, I mean, books, 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 all the way 200 or 100 year old textbooks and read all these books and they're like well a thesis statement must have an anthoneme and a proneme and a blue point of blah 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 and it's like this is too complicated let's simplify it so i actually simplified it to a zombie here's how i did it and remember this is about 15 years old i updated it even some more what i called a zombie was is your essay, is your thesis statement zymogenic? Can I brew an entire research essay from my statement? Do I have an opposing point of view? Do I have a main claim? And do I have a blueprint of reasons? And do I have an implied claim? And then I realized, wait a minute, I'm dealing with undergrads here. And I'm making this way too complicated. And I had to remember, remind myself what it was like to be an undergrad myself. So I said, you know what, I'm going to simplify it even more. Let's stick with, they say, but I say, because. That is so easy to remember, isn't it? All right, let's look how it works. We'll keep my zymogenic, my zombie thing up here because it's, it's kind of cool. And I like zombie. <laughs> so we've got our up always in a thesis statement, which is going to appear where on your essay, where? Right, the last sentence of your first paragraph, last sentence of your introduction. You're going to put your thesis statement. <clears throat> so, 
we always start with the opposing point of view. In this case, I'm messing around with Elon Musk. And if you've been paying attention to what's been going around lately, uh, let's pull it up here. <laughs> yeah. The air, aircraft crashes and, and things that have been going on wrong with Boeing Airlines. Let's go back to this for a minute. So, Elon Musk says woke DEI policies are making our airplanes fall apart. If you've been following the news, you know what I'm talking about, right? By the way, DEI stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion. It used to be called affirmative action. He says these policies are making our aircraft less safe. Don't say in your thesis statement, they say. Be specific who you're talking about. In this case, I'm talking about Elon Musk and another rotten person we'll get to in a second. Main claim. This is where I put my point of view. So we started with our opposition. Now we're going to what I say. And I'm not going to say what I say. I'm just going to go ahead and put my argument. Affirmative action and DEI programs have nothing to do with airline safety. How do I know? Well, there's our blueprint of reasons. In this case, because I'm an undergrad writer, I'm going to give three reasons. Reason number one. Whistleblowers at Boeing highlight a corporate culture that prioritizes profit and speed over quality and safety. I know because I've been researching it. And I can write a whole page on that just by itself. Number two, the entire purpose of DEI programs is to fish for talent and new ponds, not lower standards. We all know this. And reason number three, the anti-DEI movement plays into racist tropes about the inferiority of marginalized groups. We've heard them all before. I don't even need to go through, go through that mess right now. Now, I take this all and I squish it into a single thesis statement. Here it is. <coughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Now, keep in mind that when you type these big long thesis statements, you're squishing everything down, but the computer is still going to put a little green underline and say, your sentence is too long, it's a run-on sentence. Never mind, we're going to use creative punctuation to fix it. Okay, here we go. Look. Lately, right-wing politicians such as Elon Musk and Donald Trump Jr. have been blaming problems with American-made aircraft on affirmative action, diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. However, here comes the turn. This is what I say. That's what they say. Now get to what I say. This perspective is fundamentally flawed. Notice that I don't say this is BS. That's too high schooly. We're, we're in college now. Let's use some college stuff. When you say I disagree with somebody, you could say that opinion is fundamentally flawed and then say why. Okay, now here's our blueprint of reasons. Got three of them this time. Whistleblowers at Boeing have been highlighting a corporate culture that prioritizes profit and speed over quality and safety for years. Secondly, the entire purpose of these programs is to fish for talent in new ponds and not lower standards. And finally, anti -de the anti-DEI movement plays into racist tropes about the inferiority of marginalized groups. Boom! We got it. We squished it all. We started with they say in red. I say in green, it's usually going to be shorter, and the reasons why I say what I say. That is a really good bulletproof formula for a thesis statement. Got it? All right, now I'm going to knock this video off, and we're going to try again part three, where I'm going to give you a little pep talk, where I talk about some things about being the only native in my entire department at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Talk to you soon. Nine minutes.